Welcome to Coventry High School North Campus, a self-funding public school facility purchased and operated with open enrollment monies and the on-site management of the bowling and fitness centers. The Coventry School District is a suburban school system located south of Akron, Ohio in the Portage Lakes area of Summit County. When Dr. Gerald M. Wargo was named superintendent in August 1990, the school board gave him a challenge to find innovative ways to educate the students in the district. The North Campus is a product of a vision. Standing a quarter of a mile north of Coventry High School's South Campus, the North Campus was a beautiful bankrupt recreation and entertainment center called Jackie Lee's. This 10-year-old complex, located on 13 acres of prime property, had failed to sell at auction, and the bank was considering tearing it down. Passing the complex every day on the way to his office, Dr. Wargo began thinking of converting the building into a high school. He talked to the bank and received permission to tour the building. He became excited about the project armed himself with a plan and began to talk to the school board and anyone else who would listen. We will now tour the facility as it was originally constructed. Looking through the eyes of Dr. Wargo, you will see how he envisioned each area of the complex and how it could become part of an overall educational plan. As we enter the main entrance to the 120,000 square foot complex, Dr. Wargo envisioned the long wide hallway as the gateway to his plan. On the right hand side was a teen dance center that could house classrooms for the English and foreign language departments. A computer center placed around the large column would become a main informational center for students. Next came the pizza shop, a pool center, and a game room. This area could accommodate the main office, classrooms for the math department, and a satellite computer pod. Between the teen center and the pizza shop, a short hallway leads to stairways and an elevator that takes you to the lower level, where the fitness center is located. The Portage Lakes Fitness Center is a 3,500 square foot complete state-of-the-art exercise center. It has a three-lane walking track with an aerobics room in the center, three racquetball courts, and three tanning salons, a swimming pool, whirlpool, steam and sauna rooms, and a lounge area that leads to a spacious and modern locker room for men and women. Stationary bicycles, Nautilus, Camstar, and universal exercise machines, and a free weight area were serving the needs of people. Programs could be added to the existing physical education lifetime sports curriculum with the center available to students during the day. Since the center is operating and open to the public, the school would continue to manage or lease the business using the profits to offset operational costs for the entire school. Returning to the upper level, we enter Comet Lanes, a 35,000 square foot, 40 lane bowling center. The center is divided into a 28-lane main bowling area and a 12-lane auxiliary bowling area, divided by a wall and a lounge area. Both areas are equipped with overhead computerized record-keeping systems, Brunswick pin spotters, AMF ball returns and masking units. Bowling could be added to the existing physical education lifetime sports curriculum with the bowling center available to students during the day. Since the bowling center is operating and open to the general public, the school would manage or lease the 28-lane bowling area and use the profits to offset operational costs for the entire school. The auxiliary 12-lane area would be eliminated, using the area for classrooms, a state-of-the-art biology laboratory, and satellite computer pod. A 5,000 square foot adult dance lounge located south of the auxiliary bowling lane area and continuing to the left side of the main entrance would complete the science department's chemistry and physics laboratories and their accompanying classrooms. This completes Dr. Wargo's visionary use of the areas around the main hall. On the west side of the auxiliary 12 lane bowling center is a 5,600 square foot banquet room and dance floor. This area would be ideal for a cafeteria with a seating capacity of 250. 
It could also act as a meeting and multi-purpose area and would need very little renovation. Located adjacent to the proposed cafeteria area is a 4,000 square foot fully equipped restaurant style kitchen with multiple walk-in refrigerators and freezers, various style ovens, steamers, stoves, and broilers. This kitchen was designed to furnish food services for patrons of the thousand seat theater auditorium. The kitchen would provide food services to students. The idea of leasing the facility to a professional to cater small and large parties could be investigated, with profits used to offset the operational costs of the entire school. An area bordered by the proposed cafeteria, kitchen, and theater would be more than adequate to house the school's visual media center. With a computer system connected to satellite stations outside of the school, students would be able to immediately access information from various sources and for every discipline. Last but not least, our tour brings us to the beautiful 16,000 square foot theater with a seating capacity for 1,000 people. The theater includes two 14-foot wall-mounted projector screens, lighting equipment, a mezzanine control room for sound and lighting, and a raised stage area with two dressing rooms. A private dance club located in the west corner of the theater would be renovated into a rehearsal room with movable walls allowing it to remain a part of the theater. An area on the opposite side of the theater would be renovated in a similar manner. This one-of-a-kind round theater would be ideal to showcase a theater performing arts program. Talented students would have an opportunity to explore and gain valuable knowledge, skills, and experience in the areas of music, acting, and dance. The rental of this versatile facility for seminars, trade shows, and conferences with the possibility of food services could generate additional revenue to offset the operational costs of the entire school. This was the vision that Dr. Wargo saw for this complex and the wonderful opportunities that it would offer the students of Coventry and adjacent school districts. A disciplined learning environment, advanced academic classes, 22 classrooms including state-of-the-art computer and science laboratories, additions to curriculum offerings, and a year-round performing arts program would offer unique educational experiences for these students. A local university interested in using the school to offer off-campus classes for college credit would benefit students and teachers. Community benefits would include enrolling in the college courses, scheduling meeting rooms for organizations, and the possible use of extended food services and banquet facilities. His plan included a cost of $4 million for the purchase and renovation of the complex and no new taxes levied. Impossible? No, not according to his plan. Let us now proceed to follow the plan and the action. <laughs>